Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, June 27, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew 27, reading from verse 1 to 6. And it says, When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hung himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for, for to put them into the treasury, because it is the price of blood. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words of wisdom and guidance. Now, the message this morning to us is one that a lot of us in some way can identify with. Meaning that if we understand the history of Judas and Jesus, or the life of Judas while he was with Jesus. We understand also how crucial it is for us to make sure that we are walking with Jesus for the right reason. And so we understand that Judas, he was one of those disciples that weren't calling. He was the only disciples that was not called by Jesus, but he came and Jesus didn't turn him away. But while he was there, with all that time being around Jesus, his heart was still pointed in the wrong direction. Judas loved money. And so he betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver after the priests and the elders of the church came to him and asked him to do so. And remember, they wanted to get rid of Jesus. And so they had their little meeting and they made their plans. But they understood that in order to accomplish this, the best way to do so would would be to strike from the inside. And of course, Judas made himself available because as I said, he loved money so much and so they used money to catch him. 30 pieces of silver he sold Jesus out for and they came for Jesus and they, they judged and they did all that they needed to do to Jesus. Now when Judas realized that Jesus, he never did anything because I suppose that he betrayed Jesus thinking that because Jesus had the power to escape that he would have escaped so then it wouldn't seem like nothing but when Jesus didn't escape all his plan went through the window because now he realized that he's in trouble I mean he was in trouble before because he betrayed Jesus but now he's in more trouble because now Jesus is about to die because he's not escaping and they don't intend to let him go and so his heart sink as they would say and he started to have regret and he went back to the priests and the elders to return the money saying that he made a mistake and how he he betrayed innocent blood he betrayed jesus and of course the priest they told him that look here what's that to us that's not our problem and that's the first thing that i want you to pay attention to whenever someone persuades you to do something that you're not supposed to do and you do it don't believe that they are gonna back you when you get into trouble or when your back is against the wall in fact they are gonna call you out and say that you should have known better so they are not gonna take responsibility for anything just like the priest did the priest knew that what they were doing was wrong and they knew that judas knew that what he was doing was wrong but because they wanted to get rid of jesus they trick him or they buy his loyalty and get him to do what they wanted him to do and now that he's come to his senses he realized that these people weren't his friend they use him as a pawn there's a lot of stuff like that happening in the real world today you become accomplice to a crime and those who you commit the crime with they distance themselves from you when you get caught they think any of them are gonna come and say oh you know what i mean and him they go steal the stuff you know or whatever when they are being questioned they are gonna say that they don't know you some will even say that they have never seen you in their life and that is why we must make wise decision and we must stand up for what is right don't let anybody trick you to do anything that you're not supposed to do because it's you alone going to bear the consequences and so judas went and he hung himself of course because he felt so ashamed he felt so condemned 
and he felt like he could not be redeemed and so his only option he felt like was to kill himself and that's what he did he threw down the money in the temple went out and he just got a rope and hung himself now i know there's a lot of us who sometimes feel like judas let me explain sometimes we do things that are wrong and we feel so ashamed we feel so condemned and we feel like grace is now beyond our reach and so we believe that our only option is to commit spiritual suicide or physical suicide because what we are beyond the point of saving but is that so is that what the bible teaches the bible says that his grace is what sufficient for you and for me so in spite of what you have done it doesn't matter how bad the thing may seem you can still receive grace you can still be forgiven all you need to do is to own up to your mistake confess your sin turn it over to god and he will freely forgive you if judas had did that he would have been fine so his only option wasn't to kill himself his options or his option was to go to jesus and ask for forgiveness but this is what sin does and this is what the devil does when he tempts us into doing the wrong thing and tempts us into sin, he then brings the guilt down on us to make us feel like there's no way we can receive grace or forgiveness. And so he keeps us in that mindset so that we never ask for it. And sometimes it becomes too late because maybe we die or something without ever getting the opportunity. And that is very important for us to pay attention to there's nothing that you can do that is so bad that god cannot forgive you so don't don't do like judas yes you betrayed jesus yes you betrayed your friend yes you did something horrible but you can still find favor with god and that is my encouragement for you this morning no matter what it is that you have done confess it before god and god will forgive you that's his promise to you. Amen. Have a wonderful day, my friends.